Ryan from Blockstocks.com. This video is about financial freedom, passive income, and if you want, when you can quit your day job. Um, there's uh, maybe four things that I would suggest um, in terms of uh, working towards a goal of financial freedom. Financial freedom means that your passive income from your investments um, is enough to pay your bills uh, on a monthly basis so that your your job income like a career income that you don't necessarily have to work to pay your bills you can still work if you want um, but on the side you have a, a way that your bills are paid for whether you work or not um, that's what passive income is and that's the path to financial freedom uh, and my website here is um, actually all about that but I'm gonna get into that in just a moment um, first I want to show you just uh, my, an example of maybe my financial plan I'll bring this up real quick and um, what I'll do is I'm gonna upload this to my website as a free download but it's more of a of a uh, an example you don't have to follow my example but it's something to start with so up here uh, what you want to do is establish some kind of budget for now and I have a free worksheet that I'll show you in just a minute that you can track expenses. And I would suggest tracking expenses for maybe two months so that you can get an average of all of your expenses. Then, if possible, pay down your um, high interest credit cards. Um, and also, if possible, start paying down any assets that depreciate in value because they're not, help, they're gonna, they're not gonna help you. Um, for example, a car. If you have car payments still, um, you know that might be the next thing you pay off after high interest credit cards. Um, on the other hand, a mortgage on a house uh, or a rental house, um, that's an appreciating asset. So you don't necessarily have to pay that off because that's a, that's a good asset. That's, the, that's a, what they call good debt versus bad debt is um, like a car. Um, and then I'm going to go into some suggestions in terms of what's the best way to um, handle your finances and your credit score. Um, and I'm going to go into that's the, going to be the majority of this video. And um, then after you pay down most of your bad debt, then you want to start saving a financial cushion. And um, most gurus say maybe about six months, but I'm going to suggest and um, maybe a year's worth. Uh, people like um, Jim Cramer and Susie Orman, um, they actually recommend something like nine months to one year's cash exp uh, cash available to act as a financial cushion in the event that you cannot work anymore as a job or do not want to work. And six months of uh, monthly expenses will go, go uh, away very quickly, um, especially if you're still looking for a job or if you're trying to start a side hustle and just trying to get off the ground. So having, so what I would suggest is have one month of actual cash just sitting in your checking account that can cover your monthly expenses, but then start saving up towards a, um, a year's worth of, uh, of cash in maybe a savings account or what I'll show you in a second are other ways to store cash that generate interest on your money. Um, and this is what the next one is. So you want to put the rest of your savings across multiple assets that earn interest or awards. So there's different ways. There's some ways that earn interest on, um, that whereas your money is kind of locked in there, such as these um, right here, these two. There's, sort of, there's something called Peer Street and Yield Street. These are like debt investments where you're providing collateral to a lender and the lender um, offers uh, uh, people loans and as these people pay off their loans, they're paying the interest and you get a portion of the interest. And so that's what Peer Street is, it's kind of nice. Um, and there's a different kind here called uh, rental income or Crowd Street. Crowd Street is, um, it's for accredited investors. And um, what it is, is um, they have a um, portfolio of real estate. And as these people pay their rent you get a portion of the rent and returns on your money are anywhere from five to twenty percent annual so that's really good too but your money gets kind of locked in there 
So uh, a different way to earn interest or rewards on your money is with something like stocks, cryptos, IRA, or options. And you have a variable return on that. And then down here is another way, in, in fact, the, in my opinion, the best way to earn free money on your own money as in terms of interest uh, or reward is with staking, um, staking rewards and yield farming. I have other videos on that. So if you're interested in getting these kind of massive uh, annual yields on your money, then go ahead and look at those videos for that. So I'm going to get out of this. Let me next go over um, uh, a little bit more about uh, how to handle your finances. I've got this uh, article on my medium.com blog and it goes into um, paying down your credit credit card debts. And you'll see here that um, a credit score higher than 785 is considered high achiever by this website, myfico.com. And also these high achievers have used less than 6% of their credit card limit. So what you wanna do is calculate for every credit card you have, what is 6% of the credit card limit and try to pay the balance down to under 6%. Um, here is the breakdown of how your score is, is calculated. With these two are the majority ones, the, the history of your payment that you've been on time and, and don't have any missed payments. Um, and then the amount of debt. So uh, you, the amount used relative to your revolving, revolving credit line. Um, and then here's another suggestion here. Don't pay your credit card balances all the way down to zero because on a credit report, what it's gonna look like is it'll say January, zero balance, February, zero balance, March, zero, April, zero. It's gonna look like you're not using your credit at all. And so from a credit uh, creditor standpoint, it's like, well, they can't even use credit because they're not using it at all. Whereas if you keep a little balance under there that's six under 6% of your total credit limit, it'll show January, February, and March, it'll show small balances there. Um, and it'll, it'll be such a low amount that it appears that you're using your credit card and you're using it responsibly. So that's an, one suggestion. And then a second suggestion here is, uh, it, it is logical to pay off the highest interest credit um, but that's really difficult to do sometimes for some people because the balances on those high credit card, uh, high interest credit cards is so, is so high. So, um, so one other suggestion, and I think Susie Orman uh, uh, recommends this as well, is just pay down your smallest balance first because you're going to create a momentum there that you'll feel good about having paid down one of your credit cards and then you can just kind of snowball from there. Um, Another thing that helps your FICO score is paying half of the balance at a time if you can. And what that does is your FICO uh, score will look like you pay down half your debt in half. It'll reduce by 50% every time. And what that does, it causes your FICO score to just kind of go up every time. Um, and then the last thing you could do is you can go to like a lender like SoFi or Upstart. And what they do is um, you can get debt consolidation loans for low interest. Um, here's just an example of myfico.com and I'll include a discounted link there where you can get up to 75 75% off of their services if you're interested uh, you don't have to but this is just something that might help you so what they're showing here is my FICO score is 778 currently and then down here it's interesting it kind of breaks it down for me things that are helping me in green and things that are not helping me in, in uh, orange or red um, so I'm working, I'm working to pay down my credit cards here. Um, but it, it just shows me what's, uh, you know, helping you with what's not. And it also shows me here, for example, like how they're going to, um, how they're going to use, what kind of interest rates I can get based of, off of my FICO score. And you notice here that this one here has been updated. I believe this is Experian, but this one here, TransUnion and, um, uh, the other one, I, they don't really update often, so that number is not as high. Um, so that's just a suggestion there. And then here on my website here, um, this is my website, blockstocks.com. But if you go to the menu, scroll down to the bottom, this free downloads page, uh, you'll find a, a free some free worksheets that you can download. So let me show you one of the worksheets that might help you with your budget plan. 
So you want to track expenses for two months, um, just so you can get an average. So you can uh, download this and fill in all your expenses, get an average, and figure out what your budget is. And as you pay off um, bad debts, you can start crossing things off your list so that by the time you're maybe ready to either start a side hustle or um, uh, leave your day job, so to speak, that um, you've paid down your monthly expenses as much as possible down to fixed expenses and um, then you go here to your financial plan you kind of like you did your budget um, you're paying off um, high interest you're saving up some cash and then what you do is you put it here towards um, things that generate uh, generate passive income which is money you don't have to work for um, but it is still generating money for you and and then if you want you can start to look at other ways to make money online um, so let me finish with going back to my blog here because one of the um, last things that you can do is if you if you want to think about quitting your day job while you're still working start learning about other ways to make money and consider making that job an online business because of the growing presence of the internet now it just so happens that my website is designed to identify several avenues of how to make money online um, whether that's actively uh, trading cryptocurrencies or stock markets I click, click there we've got different links here or if you want to start to learn about how to um, how to form your own online business I've got all those to tools here and um, there are other tools but you know I've done all this all, I've already done all these things already for myself and um, so I've kind of already, you know, you can learn, learn, learn from my mistakes, so to speak. Um, and I also have a YouTube channel uh, that, sh that I have some videos on, um, you know, how to um, make money online. Not just, you know, not just um, trading. But also, uh, there's some trading videos. There's how to earn money, free money online with cryptos. There's also some videos on um, how to do online business, how to maximize your time use with online business, how to use social media, uh, how to maximize your social media to get the viewers. Um, so, uh, you know, check out my website here because I've already done all that work for you. If you're looking for the best way to start generating commission type of income online, then you want to go here to online businesses and um, you're going to click down here at the bottom, get started. Uh, so you can click get started there. And what it is, is it's a um, educational website um, that teaches you how to generate commission type of income um, as sort of like a, a side job or internet job um, and that's that's a good way to do it too so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, check out my website here blockstocks.com I've done all the work for you to show you how to make money online whether that's actively uh, working for it with trading or passive income with interest in crypto uh, um, crypto assets and and then also my YouTube video here uh, it's also under uh, block stops. Hope you enjoyed this video. Look for my other videos. Enjoy.